Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we talk about 7th Gen Intel and Windows 11. But first, there's an urgent matter in regards to the NVIDIA 3090s. Um, I have heard that they are overloading. Uh, when playing an Amazon beta, a test game called New World, which is an MMO, a multiplayer, a massively multiplayer online game. Um, and uh, uh, something to do with when they're in the menu system, it's ramping up to thousands of frames per second, FPS, and overloading the car. Now you would think that there would be something built into the car to prevent such a thing from happening, as well as you would think the software developer would not create a situation like this. So, hey, um, I've heard that EVGA is um, replacing burnt out cards, so um, I'll put a link in the description below of um, an EVGA form where um, they're looking at uh, flashing a BIOS to the graphics card, which I know that not many people have flashed a BIOS to a GPU before. So make sure you follow all the directions to the T um, if you are gonna go down that track. All right, um, and if you're interested in testing a beta, well, don't test this one, I would say. Um, all the publicity has made it difficult to, to get into it anyways. I'll put a link in the description below for another game which is coming out, and um, it is uh, uh, an, an, an MMO from what I can tell, and um, it's going to be free when it's launched you'll be able to get it for free um, so it'll probably be in-game purchases that kind of thing um, I, I'm just assuming so I'll put those details uh, in the description below and I might talk about it a bit later if we have time um, in the video Intel 7th gen okay so allegedly supposedly um, there was a chat between a customer of Microsoft and a Microsoft support desk. Okay, so I've seen the alleged chat, and when in the chat, when it's released, when Windows 11 is officially released, if you have a seventh gen and all those other criteria are met, then you'll be able to run it. So that's great news. Fantastic if it's true okay so take it for a grain of salt um, but you might as well if you've got a seventh gen i7 i5 i3 at least at least um i think you need what it, it's it's in my previous videos i'll put the list in again um, and i'll put a link for the tool where you can test your system and see if everything is okay um, and what you're lacking and what you need to do. Uh, in my previous videos, I went through into the, the BIOS and ASUS BIOS and showed you where things were. So you might um, go back and do that um, if you need to. So, fantastic news. Great. What else? We've got, um, still we've got a printer problem. Uh, printer spoolings, printer, oh. For Pete's sake, Microsoft. If you've got a printer and you're not using it, just turn it off for now, okay? I mean, they, they sent out a patch um, with the Windows update for one problem, and now there's another vulnerability. Evidently, the person has to be re relatively close to your system and your printer in order to um, penetrate your system, so to speak. Um, so um, there should be another patch coming out from Microsoft um, 
in uh, the next week or two, so August, beginning of August 2021. Um, and uh, yeah, so I think it's about time we get into it. Here are some pictures of New World, the role-playing game that um, has had a problem with um, excessive uh, frames per second. Um, and um, here you can get a look at it, see what it looks like. It's like a combination between Elder Scrolls Online and El Age of Empires. You can uh, build things like this cannon here these fellows are building and then fire it. Um, this is in, I believe, the 20 versus 20 player mode. And um, you collect resources, chop trees down, um, mine, you know, hit rocks and, and that kind of thing. Um, and you have different quests as well. Um, so the minimum specifications um, for New World are an i5-2400, an AMD CPU with four physical cores at three gigahertz, eight gig of RAM, uh, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 672 gigabyte or a AMD Radeon R9 280 or better. Um, with the Elder Scrolls Online, the minimum system requirements are an i3-540 or an AMD A63-3620 and RAM of 3 gigabyte um, and a video card that is DirectX 11 compliant and has 1 gig of RAM. Now this other beta that I was telling you about, Lost Ark, um, at the bottom of the slide is where you can um, test it, sign up to test it, and I'll put that link in the description below. Um, you need 8 gigs of RAM, you need an i3 minimum and Ryzen 3 uh, minimum. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video. No!